Okay, I have bacon in both of my pots. Ever since the USDA declared that you cannot smoke bacon without someone there 24-7, I have been buying my bacon from Neiman Ranch off of Misfits. I like both of those. I'm not paid to say any of that. I'm not really that big of a YouTuber. <laughs> um, I'm going to put the peas in one and the collards in one. And I'm going to start my pork roast in my little crock pot that I have had for 30 years in May. It was given to me by a fifth grade Sunday school teacher in the church that I went to. Um, her name was Miss Howell and she was a devoted devoted teacher and always had 100% attendance on High Attendance Sunday. Usually had 100% attendance all the time because if you were not there, she was going to call you. So I'm going to put the peas in. They're a little bit frozen. Um, they've got some bacon in there and I'm going to add some salt. Normally I have pink Himalayan sea salt grinder, but I dropped it in the water. So I don't have that. I'm going to add some salt. I'm going to add a little pepper. Oh no! That's way too much pepper. How did that happen? Pause. Okay, I spooned the pepper that I could back into the pot. I am going to take those peas out and give them a good rinse. These are the collards straight from my garden. I'm going to put some water in those, salt and pepper also. Hey, I know where I can get some pepper. Idiot. <laughs> Things happen, right? This is real life. So sick of people showing just their wins. We all need a few fails under our belt too. Now I can use my colander to rinse those peas off. Okay. So the peas have plenty of pepper. Let's put a little more salt in after I rinse them. Let's get some salt in the collards. Let's get some water in the collards. Just a little bit. I put about two inches in the bottom. And that'll create a good juice with that bacon. So we will cover the collards and we'll cover the peas and once they come to a boil, we'll turn them down on low. This is one of my first cooking videos ever, so be gracious. I'm just trying, trying to something new. Okay, this is my pork loin, or not a pork loin, it's a pork roast for tonight. That is my meat off of my farm. Now, my butcher leaves the skin on um, when the meat has cooked a little while. I'll go in there and I'll pull that skin off, but I want to put it into the crock pot and get it going. I have a rub here that we really like, and I'm going to put some of that on it. Rub it all over. Make sure to get the other side as well. And I'll add a little more of that a little further into the cooking process. I'm going to put it on high so that I can check it. It's about 2 o'clock. should be finished about 6 o'clock. So... That's looking good. Oh, one more thing I want to do after I wash my hands. Is to add a little bit of home rendered lard to each pot. You say lard, oh my goodness. Do a little research on lard that is raised in the forest instead of in confinement, you'll find that it's the fourth largest source of vitamin D.
It's full of omega-3s and it's full of the good kinds of fats and cholesterols that keep your um, arteries clean. All you got to do is Google it. Like, share, subscribe. Hope you're trying something new on this New Year's Day.